As an academic librarian, one of my main jobs is providing resources to staff and students to help them research, to help them study, to help them learn. Um, and I face really huge challenges when it comes to ebooks in doing that. Um, ebooks for libraries, particularly, are often very, very expensive, often several hundred times more than the cost of a print book. Um, they can come with very, very restrictive licenses. They can often only be available in large bundles rather than as individual titles. Um, they come with a lot of digital rights management, which restrict what users can and can't do with them. It basically makes it a, a real problem for librarians like myself. People assume in this digital age that everything is available as an ebook and everything is openly available. Um, and that's just simply not the case. Um, that's a real problem, I think, for education, but also wider for society. Uh, disinformation and fake news is so freely available um, on the internet and, and circulating via social media. And it becomes a real challenge to combat that when the truth and when accurate information and facts are often locked behind paywalls um, and almost held to ransom because the prices are, are so unreasonable. Now, that's one of the reasons why I and several colleagues launched a campaign called eBook SOS, which was about bringing attention to these issues, raising awareness of these issues um, and making staff, students, researchers, the wider public and policymakers aware of the challenges um, and the often really unreasonable prices and restrictions that, that mean that this kind of valuable information that is needed for, for education and for research is, is locked behind these paywalls and, and often only available to those institutions with, with the biggest budgets and the deepest pockets. And that creates a digital hierarchy. Um, and that's a problem for everyone because it is so vitally important that we are producing educated, knowledgeable um, students that are going to become citizens, that are going to go out into the world and that are going to make the change that we all want to see happening. And if they don't have access to that up to date information, that accurate information, how can they go out there and change the world? How can they go out there and combat all of that misinformation? So this is, is not just an issue about education. This is a, an issue about our civilization and our future. Um, and if we want to have access to, to knowledge and truth, to be able to combat all of the, the fake news and the misinformation that's out there.